What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to some more Undertale. We just got done with our date with Papyrus, and we're about to head out to our new area. Last episode, we fought Papyrus, dated him, and got rejected hard. Um, I messed up my freaking mic, so had to do post commentary. Hopefully, I don't mess up this episode and it's not post commentary. Cool. Okay, this is a box. We already know about boxes. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. What? This is a box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Yeah, true. I hate boxes. Okay. Let's go down here. Interesting. Okay, there's a flower. Hi, Flower. I swear I saw something. Behind that rustling, rushing water. Okay. Let's see what he saw. I don't know if those are, like, damaging. Oh, gosh. Ah. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. <laughs> Will you take it? Take it. Yeah, you got the old tutu. Okay. Info. Armor of... Father, a protective piece of armor. Yay. Equip the old tutu. Do I have a... Uh... What's the manly bandana? Info. Right. Oh, crap. It's not right. I don't like the menu navigation. It's frustrating. Okay. So we put it back. Well, wait, hang on. Is this for fun? Do they actually do something? <gasps> Is it just for fun? Manly bandana. Get me out of there. No! Almost dead. Didn't really almost die, but hey. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. He's gonna get killed, isn't he? Huh. Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, 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 no. I tried very hard, Undyne. But in the end, I failed. He's gonna kill him, right? Well, what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see, uh-oh. Review, I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh, gosh. Ah! I made a mistake. Mom! Well, okay then. Oh, hi. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? She, that was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> well, all right then. Uh, feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Oh boy. When four bridges, when four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Four bridge seeds align in the water. This is gonna make a bridge. That, these aren't very puzzling puzzles in this game. I don't know if they're supposed to be, or if it's supposed to be like a cute game. Heck is that? Aaron flexes in. Hi, Aaron. Flex, you flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. <laughs> Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Oh god. Oh, it's ready for your next flex. 
flex, you flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice. I won't lose though. His wings though. Okay. He's ready for you to your next flex. Let's do it again. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard and then he poops himself. He flexes himself out of the room. Nice. I won. <laughs> of course I won. Why wouldn't I won? Why wouldn't I won? Yeah, makes sense. Can I read this sign, please? Please. Oh, yeah, we found one. We're gonna read this sign. Yeah. Yep. Hey! Oh, it has to be four. Oops. I wonder if they'll reset. <clears throat> Grad to be four. Do I have music? It's good music in this area. Not bad. <laughs> that squeaky sound. It's like uh, pretty weird on my head there. <clears throat> I still, I don't know. These mushrooms haven't done anything anymore. I don't think they are going to. No, I had to do it in front of it. I can't read it from behind. So I get for being a slacker. We're gonna get. It. We're gonna get. We're gonna read that sign. All right. I'm gonna read it. We have tried three times now to read this sign. It better have something something funny on it. Better be worth my while. Okay. Now. Congratulations. You failed the puzzle. <laughs> Alright, it was worth. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they start. Oh, okay. Uh, that looks like I have to do four is the problem here. I guess I can just do... Dang it. Pretty sure. Uh, let's see. Where could I do four at? I was gonna, was gonna do four there, but that wouldn't make sense. Oh, okay. I get it. Uh, I thought I got it, but... Hmm. Every time I think I'm about to understand it, I don't... I don't understand it. Huh. They have to be four in a row, right? Hmm. This isn't how you, uh, nope, this is not how you do it. Let's go ahead and do some, some testing really quick. Since I, since I done goofed. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it would have to do some with me setting one out here and then one in here. Somehow, let's see. It has to be here somewhere. <clears throat> hmm. What the F? Okay, I just I had just been talking about how <clears throat> there were no actual difficult puzzles in this. I mean, I don't think this will work. My best idea would be to get that there and then... But I need that one back. Unless, like, I can do, like, this. Afraid not. 
Man, I can do... Uh, I don't know how... Oh, yeah, okay. I got it. Took me a second. I, all right, don't judge me. This might not be the intended way even, but it works for me. We did it. That's why the sign's there. The sign's there to line up your, your throw. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Pappers. How did I get this number? It was easy. <clears throat> I just dialed every number sequ sequentially until I got yours. No. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. She did, but I'm not. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Let's be honest. We're hardcore. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Wink, wink. Thinks I'm lying. A uh, long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now. All we have are these sparkling stones in the ceiling. Uh, wishing room. They're just the nine stars. Thousands of people w uh, wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. <clears throat> Apparently there's some wishing going on here. What is that? It's like a toy like that. Long time. Wushu shuffles up. Clean. Check, touch, let's clean him. You asked Wushu to clean you. It hops around excitedly to clean me, okay? Tweet, <laughs> green means clean, does it? Okay. Wushu is friends with a little bird. Uh, that's it, all I have to do is get cleaned, I'm good. Cool. I'll take it. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday, aw. Look through the telescope. Yes. Alright, that was fun. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Oh boy. I knew it. The secrets get past me. Ancient Ryan covers the walls. You could just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Okay. <clears throat> Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of every, of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with the unfathomable power. So, they say if a human dies, their soul, they can choose to go into a monster? It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drone. It sounds like to me if a human dies, they can buy and they have access to a monster, they can actually put their soul in it in this game. Either that or the monster can take their soul. One of these things is true. I feel it in my heart bones. My heart bones heard me. Scary. Oh. <clears throat> Hi, Undyne. I think that's Undyne. Uh oh. 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 This is interesting. Oh gosh. Oh. Okay, I didn't get hit, it's cool. Did not get hit, this is no problem. Why does this guy magically know where I'm at now? Hide, hide little girl. Oh, that's mean. Huh? You better walk away. Why would he walk away? Doesn't make any sense. 
That guy's scary. Hmm. Can't walk. Oh. That's not a guy, is it? Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. <laughs> I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> This little, little lizard thing. This cheese has been here so long, a magic crystal has grown around. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical cheese, it fills you with determination. Nice. I finally, I finally understand that meme. Okay. Finally, my life felt so empty before. Ah, look at this guy. It's an odd looking telescope. Cool. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business, of course you are. It's normally fifty thousand dollars to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yes. Ugh, my analog sticks are so stupid. Uh, the color changes on my monitor down there. I wonder if that's intended. I feel like there's gotta be something. What? Wow. Huh? You aren't satisfied. Don't worry. I'll give you a full read. Wow, he made my eye red. Use the box. Yes. Let's put in. Oh. Oh, we already did. Oh, yeah, we did that. Right. I forgot about that. Hi, that guy. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? If you want. Can you kill it? Uh huh? Probably. Are you a star? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, okay. I relocated my store, but there <clears throat> are still no customers. Yeah, you're bad at picking. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. You got the nice cream. How much does nice cream do me for? Not much. Okay. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. <laughs> the box contains one card. Take a card. Leave. Oh, wait. You got a punch card, okay. Okay, I guess I can't put it back in there. To take up, yeah, it takes up space. I should put it in this, this sucker right here. Oh God, there's too many ways to go. I don't know which one I want to do. Okay, there's a duck over there. Duck. Hey, duck, come here. Oh, I want the ducky. I wonder if I can get around to him. It's supposed to be avoiding side quests, but... I'm trying to make this a quick run through, but it's not, not succeeding at that right now. You hear a passing conversation, so don't you have any wishes to make? Stop. Alright. Hmm. Just one. But it's kind of stupid. Oh, you're stupid. Uh oh. Okay. That's kind of scary. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna flee. <laughs> it's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Take it. Got the ballet shoes. Weapon at attack seven. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. I wonder if uh, they replace something. Seven. Okay. Upgrading. I'm I'm buffing here. I'm getting stronger. Stronger by the second. Right, this place isn't as entertaining as the last place. I'm losing interest. Ring. 
Well, hello. This is Pappers. Remember when I asked you about your clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. I did not. This way, you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. I most definitely did not change. Too cool for that. Washua and Aaron appear. Washua, go ahead and clean me up, buddy. Ask him to clean me up. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh, oh. Oh, God. Please. Okay, he needs to get out of here. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, come on. He's splashing playfully. Oh, gosh. The freaking analog stick wants me to go left so badly. Fuck I don't know. I don't know how the the joke got me again, but it did. All right, you here, Pat? Anger. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Wait, wasn't there a? Oh. Oh gosh, I hate this guy. Oh, okay, good. Tears this time. Much better. Right here is tears. Probably some swoon, but who knows? Oh, come on. Yay, he flexes himself out of the stratosphere. Woohoo! The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. So, okay, it is the monsters taking our souls. So when monsters die, their souls are weak, so their souls are gone. But when we die, our souls are strong, and monsters will attempt to take our souls and keep them. Release the Kraken. Oh, God. I've seen this movie before. Am I even moving? Nope. Oh, my gosh, this is the Kraken. Hey, there. Notice you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you hear? That face, though. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? <laughs> yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Those eyes. I feel like he wants to eat me. Do you want to eat me? He wants to eat me. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but he... Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city, and they're living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Oh, God. And the aquarium's full, anyway. So, even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Totally. Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Come back. Let's be friends. No. I tried to be his friend. Maybe if I come back, he'll be. He'll be happy. I'm back. I'm back, Jack. I had nothing to say. Didn't actually care. Doesn't he doesn't love me? What? Shrine hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. What the heck is this? Hum. 
You hum a funky tune. Shrine follows your melody. Sire, sire, simi, simi. Okay. Come on, are you kidding me? Much more comfortable singing along. There you go. Easy. The northern room hides a great treasure. What kind of treasure? Piano? That's down right up. There's a piano, play it? Yes. No! No. No, why does it keep messing up there? What the heck? It keeps going to the down at the end. It's making me so mad. My controller. <sighs> okay, here we go. I got an idea. What's the what's the button for this? No. No. Darn it, I was hoping that that would do something. I played that whole song. I struggled very hard. A haunting song goes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Oh. Only the first eight are fine. Huh? A haunting song goes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Okay. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. Okay, I, th I thought I figured out. This. You guys know what I was playing. <laughs> what? There's gotta be a song or something I play here, right? Only the first eight. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. I don't know. That was confusing. What a great uh, way to waste our time at the end of this episode. Hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed that. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. Okay. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Alright. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb the soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Maybe not with that, dude. 
Well, I think this is a good place to end the episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed and that you are still enjoying. And I'll see you on the next episode of Undertale. Bye-bye.